Hi there. I decided to do a short video about Pathfinder Kingmaker since Definite Edition is already out. A lot of you guys and girls uh, are wondering, is it a game for me? Is it something worth spending my money on? This is why I created that list of 10 questions and try to ask the answer as best as I can to help you make an informed decision. So, let's roll the intro and start with the questions. How long is Pathfinder? Around 100 hours, maybe 150 in turn-based mode due to longer fights. Is Pathfinder worth 50 bucks? I spent few nice evenings with the game and had a lot of fun, so definitely was worth for me. If you're looking for a game like Baldur's Gate 2 or Divinity Original Sin 2, I cannot recommend this game enough. What difficulty should I play on? I play only on Unfair, but if you're new to Pathfinder Kingmaker, I don't recommend anything harder than challenging. Hard is for those that want to optimize your party and uh, know what they are doing. And Unfair is created only for those that want an optimized party of top tier builds in every spot. Do I need a pre-planned build to play? For sure, for unfair difficulty, for lower difficulties, you can respec for gold. And if you don't want to spend thousands of gold later to respec, I would try to avoid it and prepare some builds. Where can I find good builds? Subscribe to this channel, join my Twitch stream maybe, check out Nerd Commando or Arcane Agent, they have a lot of good builds. Uh, you can take inspiration from. So, a lot of options. All the links down below. Can I use old builds in turn-based mode? Yes, you can. I would still avoid summoner builds because the pets tend to block your way and uh, that's really annoying. You don't want to fight that. So, party of six summoners may be awful in turn-based mode. Other than that, all the builds translate really well to turn-based mode from real piles and other way around, so you should be fine with any other builds. I would probably try not to do builds that were working due to some bug or issue, because a lot of those were fixed over the time. Does the game have still a lot of bugs? There are bugs in the game. I know that the Definite Edition also has some bugs uh, here and there and some issues running around. Uh, but the similar thing was when the Pathfinder Kingmaker released on PC two years ago. It, it was really buggy. It, 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 it broke some progressions. It was You were not able to finish it and uh, a lot of spells were not working. But what Alka did is in a half year make it really stable, really bug free, everything was working really fine. And they even added new content. So I'm almost sure that uh, if you are watching this video in two months, three months, probably that's not a case even, even anymore. And there are no more bugs in the Definite Edition. Is there a time pressure in the game? A lot of people say that the biggest flaw of Pathfinder Kingmaker is that you are playing against the clock. There's a lot of quests that you have to finish before you get to a certain date. And that's problematic for a lot of people that want to explore more. But if you remember to do main story first, companion quest second, side content, exploration third and fourth, you have more than enough time to do everything because there are big chunks of free time after Act 1, Act 2 and so on. So you will be able to do everything, 100% the game, and never will you fail a main mission that way. Is the kingdom building aspect any good? I like the idea, but I don't like the execution. For me it's more of a chore rather than extra system that I want to get involved in. So, I have to do some tasks so, so my kingdom is doing well, but, so I try to avoid it and set it to easy or 
auto most of the times just to avoid having to do that. What companions should I choose for my playthrough? From combat's perspective, I would say Daedal as a sorcerer, Octavia as an arcane trickster, Akandayo as a ranger, and Naknak as a rogue slash vivisectionist, uh, and a kinetist, I don't remember her name. Uh, those are the best for combat related purposes. If you want a good story, that depends on you who you like the best. Or are, or are more or less viable uh, as a team member. Can I play this game solo? Short answer, yes you can. There are people that finished the game in solo mode. I don't recommend because the main path uh, will ask you to split your parties into two uh, and that's really annoying when you have only one party member and you have to think about it, trick the game a bit, uh, but a duo is also completely good, I finished the game on an affair. Is Pathfinder Kingmaker better than Baldur's Gate 2? For me, Pathfinder Kingmaker is currently the best CRPG out, good. I'm waiting for you, Baldur's Gate, to prove me wrong. Uh, but it doesn't do anything innovative, it's not anything that you never seen, it's just well-made CRPG with a lot of content, a lot of fun, a lot of companions, a lot of build possibilities, a lot of combat, a lot of good story. Well, while Baldur's Gate 2 was creator of the CRPGs, it was one of the first games that show how to make a RPG based on a pen and paper system and made it really well with a lot of good story and uh, player agency I would say because there was a lot of decision making a lot of uh, nice feel that you interact with the world for that but it's a 20 21 year old game so it's not that good anymore but the memory is really fun so as you probably noticed I changed quite a lot during the video. There is a reason for that. Um, so the first person to leave the comment with correct number of different t-shirts that I had over this video will get a PC version of Pathfinder Kingmaker on Steam. I will send you a Steam key for Pathfinder Kingmaker Explorer Edition if I remember correct. Yep. good luck so that's all folks thank you for watching uh, if you did like the video please leave a like subscribe uh, that helps me a lot if you also did find any question unanswered missing in this video leave them in the comment section or ask me directly on stream I will try to answer them as quickly as possible and maybe prepare another video if there's more than few of them or unsure. Oh. Check out Nerd Commander or Arcane Angel. Arcane Angel. Some great older builds and new coming out probably soon. Soon. So, that's soon.